Hello and welcome to another episode. My name is Manny and this is Grubbany and today I'll be showing you how to make some alkaline vegan burro banana fries. Let's get started. Burro bananas are one of the two approved bananas for alkaline vegans. They look like plantains but they're actually bananas. For this recipe, we need some unripe burro bananas. Let's see what they look like on the inside. We're going to start by cutting off both ends of the banana. Even though my bananas are yellow, they're still very much unripe. Unripe burro bananas are almost as hard as raw potatoes, so you need a knife to cut the skin open. Once the skin is cut, use your fingers to peel the skin away from the flesh. It's actually way more difficult to do than it looks, so you can employ the use of a knife. Using a knife, carefully scrape off any remaining bits of skin. Place the banana on a working surface, then cut down lengthwise into two equal pieces. When you split the banana open, this is what it looks like. Now place it face down on a working surface. Cut one half of the banana into three to four equal wedges. This is how I like my wedges to look, but if you like, you could go shorter or thicker. As I mentioned in the beginning, these are almost as hard as raw potatoes, so don't be afraid to handle them. Repeat the process for the remaining bananas. Big shout out to everyone keeping it respectful in the comment section. These bananas were originally green, but I left them out too long so they turned yellow. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Now that we're done prepping them, it's time to season them. This is a quick recipe, so we're going to be using just a few herbs and spices. And to make it easier, we're going to combine everything into one bowl. To the bowl, we're going to add some pure sea salt. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon of onion powder. Add one teaspoon of savory, followed by some cayenne pepper. Finally, and this is optional, you can add some sale and cinnamon. Give it a really good mix. Now we're going to pour our herbs and spice mix over the bananas and mix it thoroughly. You want every single banana wedge to be properly coated, then you can let them rest for about 10 minutes or more so the bananas can absorb all of that goodness. In a cast iron pan set to medium heat, add about a quarter to a cup of grapeseed oil. Once your oil is hot enough, you can go ahead and add some of your banana wedges. Don't add too many at a time. Depending on your heat, let them fry for about one minute per side. Over here I have some fresh sage and I'm going to make some crispy sage out of them. This will also infuse the oil with their flavor. Toss them in the oil and let them fry for about 5 to 10 seconds or until crisp. After about 1 minute, flip your wedges over. Alright, let me quickly show you how to make this in an air fryer. The first step is to add some oil to your wedges. Your temperature should be set to 360 degrees Fahrenheit, then add 15 minutes to the timer. Preheat your air fryer for 5 minutes, then add your banana wedges. Let it air fry for 5 minutes per side. Back to our pan fried wedges. These are done and good to go. For the air fryer wedges, give it a good shake after 5 minutes or flip it over. Then put it back and let it go for another 5 minutes. There you have it. It looks a little dry because I didn't add enough oil. And that's because this is meant for people who don't cook with too much oil. Alright, I'm getting hungry. Let's wrap this up before I eat the camera. There you go. Remember the sauce I used in my alkaline vegan taco recipe? This is the same sauce and it tastes really good with these fries. If you haven't seen that video, click on the link below to watch it. So these crispy sage leaves taste absolutely delicious, especially with the bits of fried herbs and spices on them. We're going to crumble some into our sauce to freshen up its taste. Just listen to that crunch. When you bite into them, there will be a burst of flavor in your mouth. 
take a look at these absolutely beautiful fries. Wow, check out the sauce and the fried sage. How much do you think you pay for this? Let me know in the comment section below. Be on the lookout for next week's video. You definitely don't want to miss it. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Puro banana fries is nothing new. It's a recipe that's been cooked by every alkaline vegan home cook out there. All I've done today is add my twist and my sauce to it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week.